Hello Stampers, it's Amy with Stampin' Magic. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I have for you a super quick and simple card and it's this one here. And we will be using the Twinkle Twinkle Bundle. I really, really love this set. It's gorgeous. Not just for children, it could be for adults. Makes great masculine cards as well. Has some amazing sentiments on here. And some really lovely images and a punch to go with it as well. So let's get started. So you're gonna need a few bits today. You're gonna need a C6 card base. You're gonna need some of the Twinkle Twinkle DSP. Now I'm changing the colors up slightly. I'm going for more of a gold color. And this is really gorgeous sea foam, which is really light green, it's beautiful and the other side is lined, so you could choose which one you want, so I'm going with this one. You'll need some silver foil, a strip of crumb cake, and you're going to need some of the very vanilla and gold edged ribbon. All the measurements for these and everything you'll need will be listed on my blog, which will be in the description bar below. That link will take you directly to this project. And you also need some memento blacking. So to start with, we're gonna do some stamping. So I'm gonna bring in my ink and my sentiment, and I'm using the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I really love that sentiment, it's gorgeous. And I'm just putting this here just so I can line it up right. So you're gonna ink it up. And this memento ink is a kind of felt top. So you're going to want to wiggle and then tap. I think mine's running out, so I'm going to need to re-ink that soon. So hopefully this will come out all right. So you want it kind of to the right of this bit here. Just give that time to transfer. There we go. Yeah, it could be a bit darker, but I just need to re-ink that and I'm waiting for my re-inker to arrive. Okay, if it does fade and you don't have any um, reinker available, you could get a stamp and write marker and just go over that if you want it a bit darker. But that's fine for me right now. So putting that to one side, we're going to get our foil and we're going to punch our stars and our moon. So. and everything goes flying everywhere. So we don't need the little bobbles, but we do need the stars. We've got our moon there and our spare. And then we need three more of the stars. So you've just got to line them up, not to waste too much cardstock, like that. And we just want three of those. Okay, and then get rid of that little bobble. Okay, and then you've still got plenty to do if you want more stars, but Odd numbers tend to work best, so I've kind of gone for seven, just because, yeah, it looked good. <laughs> so I'll put them to one side, and now we're going to put on our ribbon. So I'm going to use some tear and tape. And what we want to do first is tie our knot. So I'm going to tie this on first. I'm just doing a knot. If you wanted to do a bow, you can. I actually prefer the look of the knots on some projects, um, especially with the wider ribbon. Okay, and then you can move that up or down however you like. Okay, and get some scissors, and you want to trim it. So it just looks nice and neat. Oops, sorry, not the camera. And like that. Okay. With this ribbon, it does tend to fray. So what I do is be very, very careful. You don't burn yourself. And you don't set anything alight. But I use a lighter just to seal the ends. So, a little bit too much on that one. You don't need a lot of heat. So I fold them back so nothing's going to catch a light. And you just want to bring it up a little bit closer. A little bit more on that bit. So see, I'm not even putting it really close to it and it's just, just sealing it off there. 
So that one I went a little bit close when I said don't go close. Okay, so that's that done. And that will seal it off and stop it fraying. Then what we want to do is we're going to put it here. So you're going to want your tear and tape. And we are going to pop it on and fold it over. Like that. Okay, so we're going to lay that into position and then fold that over. And the same with this bit and fold that over. Okay, so that's your ribbon nice and securely on there. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we're going to put our paper, our DSP, straight down onto here. And today I've not used any borders, which is really rare for me. Normally I like to leave a nice white border. Um, today I thought I'd change it up. <laughs> I thought, nope, we're going to go straight for DSP all over. No gaps. Okay, so I'm using wet glue just so I can get it aligned properly. I'm just going to make sure that's all even and then push down. Okay, so that's on there nice and secure. Now this bit you want to pop up with dimensionals. So I've got some here. a couple on the top and the bottom and then we're going to put a couple in the middle like so rearrange my bow there and then you want to place it on the edge of that okay so that's raised slightly it looks really pretty with that ribbon I actually really like this color combination as well I wasn't too sure but yeah green and gold go nice together anyway so I don't know why I had any doubt okay so this moon we're actually going to raise as well and I don't think I have any mini dimensionals left so I'm going to use the side bits of this I'm waiting for an order and stocking up on all my dimensionals and everything I've used lots of lately so I'm like hurry up order okay so that moon's popped up as well. And then we're going to want to place some dots. So I'm just using Tombow. Oh, a bit too much there. And placing three dots in constellations there and then one over here. So this is where it's going to get a bit sticky. This one and this one can go on here. And you could use tweezers for this, um, which would probably be a good idea. And little star. And another little star. Okay, and that is our card done. Super quick and simple, really lovely. I love these colours, the gold and the soft sea foam. And I love using gold with crumb cake as well. Really, really lovely. 
and this was my blue and grey version with silver again you could have used um, white the white and silver edged ribbon on here but yeah that is our card for today so I hope you like it please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe the link to my blog and Facebook are in the description bar below hope you have a lovely day bye